All right, guys, today we are walking to Tobu Zoo in Tokyo, Japan. This park's home to Kawasemi, that is an Intamin Megalite coaster, along with Regina 2, an Intamin wooden coaster. However, it was recently retracked by GCI and got some new Millennium Flyers on it. All right, I made it into Tobu Zoo, and this place is empty. Uh, other than our group, I have not seen a single person except for one employee. So hopefully that means lots of re-rides over on Regina and Kawasemi and being able to check out the park at our own pace. I'm very excited to check it out. We're starting off with Regina 2. This is a wooden coaster from Intamin. Recently been retracked by GCI and now runs with Millennium Flyers. Looks like a pretty big ride. I believe it's 150 feet tall. Looks pretty intense. I can't wait to try it. All right, guys, the first ride of the day was Regina 2, this wooden coaster right here. You can see the lift hill behind me, actually. Me and Matt were in the back row, and I really enjoyed it. What about you? Uh, that was amazing. There was, it, it was smooth. I was not expecting it to be as smooth as it was. And there were some, two, two moments of really, like, wicked airtime. Yeah, I was there not were, expecting that at all. there were two moments of really distinct ejector airtime. I do think this is probably one of those attractions that might run quicker later in the day. Unfortunately, we won't be here for that. However, there was definitely two distinct ejector airtime moments. Throughout the ride, there were some floater moments, but it is insanely smooth. Everyone that was riding in the front seems to not like it as much as us, so uh, we're going to go try some different seats, and it might be one of those rides. It's a back row ride. We just got off our second ride on Regina 2. Uh, we sat in the front this time, and I also like it up there. I think it feels more like a wooden coaster up there, but I think the front has more pops of airtime, where the back has more sustained. Would you agree? I think I would agree with you. Tyler, we are heading to... Kiwasemi? Kiwasemi? Kawasemi? Yeah. It's an Intamin Megalite. It does look like it's running a little slow today, but it's an Intamin Megalite with no line. So no matter what, it'll at least be a decent ride, right? Hell yeah. So uh, let's check it out. It looks like Sky Rush a little like bit. Low key. Guys, we just got a Kawasemi for the first ride. This is the park's Intamin Megalite. I think this is the best coaster of the trip so far. That was insane. I was not expecting no, to pure, that force Pure ball. ejector on every oh, yeah. every hill. The first turn uh, kind of gave me I-305 gray up. Oh, I grayed out. Yeah. I, grayed out. I really, yeah, I really liked was, it. I really amazing. liked it. We just got off Kawasemi, that was my third ride. This is Sarah's second ride. We did a front row ride and we did a second to last row ride. Well, I did Piraten in Denmark a couple years ago and absolutely loved it and thought the same thing. Like the first, like the drop into the turn is literally you just gray out just like you're riding I-305. It's just tinier, obviously. Well, yep. one thing about this is that it's definitely very temperamental. We had one train that was completely full and it was ripping through the course. So the group kind of spread out right now. We got some people riding the Intamin, some people are doing filming. I'm gonna go ride the Zier Tivoli. Uh, it's one of the ones with the ladybug themed cars. It is a kitty family coaster, but it looks adorable. And uh, you know, it's another coaster to add to the list. So uh, why not? 
Matt, you took the back row on the coaster ladybug. Would you agree that there was actually some ejector? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I was, wasn't was expecting you know, it. My seat, but... <laughs> Was it good? No, okay. Oh, <laughs> we just got done with the uh, haunted walkthrough and it was definitely an attraction at Tobu Zoo. It was something that we did. Definitely, definitely one of their offerings. This um, is better though, right here. Yeah. It is, uh, it's very hot here. It feels like Florida. One thing I've noticed about the walkthroughs that we've done in Japan so far is it's not as much of jump scares. It's more of they're all- Anxiety. Yeah, they're very quiet. Maybe one scare actor or a few things that pop out at you. But walking around, it's so quiet. That kind of builds the anticipation and anxiety, at least for me. Oh, I was just like, whenever someone does pop out, I'm gonna crap my pants, but it never happens here. <laughs> When we arrived today, they were actually listing this wheel as closed. However, it's been moving since we got here, so we're gonna check it out. It also looks like each of the cabins have air conditioning. Uh, there's air conditioning in here. Thank God. Matt's loving the air conditioning. He's an air conditioning, great job. <laughs> This is for five-year-olds. All right, what do we think of the school bus? The school busy? It was great. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. It was a unique flower. I just can't find it anywhere else. As you just saw, we got off the uh, kitty coaster here. I still don't know what it's themed to. You have sheep in the infield. You have a ride vehicle themed to burning coal. Interesting. We are driving in jeeps around the river, around the lake. I, I don't know what this is. It's not racing like go-karts. It's uh, interesting. And, and the great part is it's not tracked. It's literally just like free drive. Yeah, it's like a road. Yeah. I love that. What you guys think? That was really cool. The fact that yeah. it was trackless, you know, oh, free go karting experience. Yeah. Actually, you know, yeah. pretty views I thought it was like the, the perfect I speed too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't like it's you like, could go pedal oh, to the middle. You're not flying, yeah. but it's you know it's still fast like, enough for you to get a breeze in here. Yeah. Know? Oh yeah, it's moving its legs. What? That'll do it for Tobu Zoo. We were not able to spend a lot of time here because we got more fun stuff that we're doing in Japan, but um. I enjoyed this property a lot more than I thought I would. Were you guys expecting to like this property so much? No, no, no not at all. I was expecting to just do the two coasters and leave, but this park has a lot of potential. It has two strong coasters. Honestly, some pretty cool, some cool. Yeah, rides, yeah. A really unique definitely unique, experience. like that go kart experience, the school bus flat ride. I mean, I think this is really fun. It's really cool property. Uh, I think with a little bit of love and maybe a little bit more investment, this place could be phenomenal. Yeah, I think this. I think they. I think this place just needs a bit of life breathed into it, and then this park would be amazing.